Arizona Science is supported by Research Corporation for Science Advancement. For AZPM, I'm Leslie Tolbert, Regents Professor Emerita in Neuroscience at the University of Arizona, and this is Arizona Science. Today, our guest is Matthew Greeley, Associate Professor of Psychology and Director of the Human Memory Lab and Director of the Clinical Training Program in the Psychology Department. Matt, welcome. Thank you for having me. I know you could talk about a very broad range of topics relating to memory and cognition, but today I'd like to focus on how our cognitive abilities change as we get older. Uh, Give us a general sense of the sort of global arc of cognitive function over our lifetimes. What functions improve, what functions decline, and a person in good health. Sure. And the last part, a person in good health, is key. So uh, about 80% of people over the age of 65 have healthy cognition. And over the years, we've learned a lot about what changes in healthy cognition, what tends to reduce and what tends to stay stable or actually improve. When it comes to things that reduce, we do notice that many older adults uh, find that it's harder to learn and remember, especially new things, and picking up on the details. We also see that many older adults find that their mental speed is slower than it used to be. In many ways, the sort of way that we sort of wear our age on our physical body also weighs on our mind in terms of our speed and fatigue. And uh, finally, many older adults notice that uh, it's harder to do the sort of mental gymnastics that we have to do in order to weigh different options in our mind, uh, plan ahead, and remember to follow through with things. And is the cognitive decline sort of a monotonic decrease in all the things we're able to do? Or does it go in fits and starts? Are um, particular functions uh, affected in all of us? Or is each of us individually very different from the people sitting on either side of us? So you really hit it there at the end. I mean, one thing that we've learned is that there are large individual differences in uh, healthy cognitive aging. So some of the common changes that I noted that we see with mental processing speed, learning and memory, some older adults notice that they experience changes across all of those things, others just bits and parts. And then, of course, some older adults don't notice any changes at all. So the individual differences is fascinating, and there's a lot of research interest in trying to understand what might be behind uh, those large individual differences. So you said that there are um, specific functions that decline. Are there things that stay the same or even improve as we age? Absolutely. One thing that um, we notice with healthy cognition in older age is that many older adults are continuing to expand their knowledge. Uh, this comes with new experiences in uh, many ways. Uh, you know, so we say the older, the wiser, and that's true. Um, Older adults have accumulated a lot of knowledge, and many of them very effectively apply that even in complex decision-making contexts. Um, Older adults also have uh, commonly much larger vocabularies. Um, So there are uh, certain skills that continue to uh, improve, or at the very least uh, stay the same in older age. So you've talked about several things that might improve as we age. Give us a specific example of something you've seen in real life. Well, so I mentioned uh, knowledge and language, word use. So one of the ways in which we think we see this play out in real life is in storytelling. Older adults tell very interesting stories in general, and uh, there's more and more research Uh, suggesting that some of the changes that we used to think might reflect difficulty remembering details from prior events may not, that may not tell the whole story, uh, but rather older adults may have through expertise and learning what engages people and makes for an interesting story, have adapted and are now telling things in a way that draws people in and keeps them in the conversation. Thank you very much, Matt. This is a fascinating glimpse into how our brains uh, and cognitive abilities change with age, both in health and in, in disease. 
Mac really is an expert in the mechanisms that underlie learning and memory and that can go awry or improve as we age. You can listen to this in all Arizona Science Conversations at azpm.org slash Arizona Science. I'm Leslie Tolbert. Thank you to Research Corporation for Science Advancement for their support of Arizona Science.